Hi guys, good evening and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host Eddie and in tonight's video I will be discussing what I thought of the latest and very, very good episode of Star Wars The Bad Batch which dropped this past Wednesday night. I had a very full and busy Wednesday night so I, I missed both this episode and the season one finale of Willow, but I have now caught up on both. And I just uploaded my Willow review. You can watch it somewhere around here on this channel. It's one of my newer videos. And now I'm giving you my episode review for The Bad Batch, which was uh, episode three of season two. Boy, was it a good one. Spoilers, by the way, in case you're not caught up yet. If you're, if you're not, you don't wanna keep watching or listening to this video, as I will be discussing spoilers, plot details, all that jazz. That being said, you have been warned. So for possibly the first time ever, because looking back to season one, I believe they appeared in every single episode in some capacity. For the first time ever, the Bad Batch itself, Clone Force 99, did not appear with one exception. Well, I say an exception because he's really not a member anymore, but he kind of is, kind of isn't. Crosshair. This was a Crosshair episode. We see what his life looks like now that he's a soldier of the Empire, as he so puts it. We also got to see the return of a uh, clone, of a uh, clone, uh, recognizable clone. I don't know if I would call him a fan favorite because he betrayed Obi-Wan and op gave the order to open fire on him. But we saw the return of Commander Cody, who I believe has not been seen since uh, both Revenge of the Sith and the Clone Wars uh, TV series, because he was not in the final season of Clone Wars, because the final season of Clone Wars took place at the exact same time Revenge of the Sith was happening, and we know where he was for that, giving the order to fire on Obi-Wan after receiving Order 66 from Palpatine himself. So, uh, it was interesting to see Cody again, and what was interesting to me about this episode is that it was called The Solitary Clone, and you think or assume that naturally it's going to be about Crosshair, about how he's alone. He doesn't really have anybody but the Empire. He just follows whatever Rampart's orders or missions are. And he's just a soldier doing his job or whatever. But it got me thinking, is this episode really about Crosshair or is it about Cody? Because there's a lot of emphasis and focus on Cody throughout this whole thing. How he tries to peacefully negotiate with that woman, the actual governor of this planet. And I didn't recognize her name or her face, but she did mention events of an episode from a Clone Wars episode way back in the day when both representatives from both the Republic and the Separatists met to try to negotiate a peace treaty with the Clone Wars raging on. She did mention that, so I guess it must have happened on this planet, on her world, but she didn't seem to be a big fan of the Republic and certainly didn't was not a fan of the Empire. And even though Cody seemingly gave his word to try to find a way out of this mess peacefully, the Imperial governor they were sent to rescue, of course, ordered to execute her because that's the way of the Empire. And to no one's surprise, of course, I wasn't shocked at all that Crosshair was the one who literally pulled the trigger and killed her, of course, because that's what Crosshair does. He's a soldier following every order that's given or whatever. But Cody seemed rather conflicted about it after the fact. And I thought the episode would end with him walking away and Crosshair going back to his barracks. But then we find out from that asshole Rampart that it turns out Cody has gone AWOL. Which makes me wonder, has he gone off to find, to search for Rex and or the Bad Batch? Or to possibly start a new life for himself? I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if we saw him again. Perhaps we could get some... Uh, some uh, redeeming uh, moments out of him if he go if he continues to pop up in the show and if we see him again we could get some excellent redemption moments to make up for his attempted uh, killing of Obi-Wan Kenobi so we'll see what happens but this was a great episode it was great to see clone troopers and battle droids uh duking it out once again crosshair and cody making an awesome team and then um complex characters in um appalling situations which uh, i think re is a reflection of both cody and crosshair and the appalling situation was this hostage sh situation between them the governor lady and the imperial governor and then we saw how all that went down so very very good episode it had a lot of it felt like it had a lot of depth to it or a lot of uh character driven choices as well so i i really enjoyed it for that
besides the exciting stuff too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Bad Batch as well. What did you think of it? Is there any redemption possible or left for both Crosshair and or Commander, Co Commander Cody? Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Have a wonderful rest of your night. The Bad Batch drops new episodes every Wednesday on Disney+. Plus. I'll try to get back on track for this coming week. Have a great rest of your weekend, everyone. Stay safe out there. And of course, until next time, may the Force be with you.